I randomly felt like baking. I haven't baked in so long. I used to bake a lot when I was in high school and I figured, you know, I don't have anything else to do right now. So why not? Why not bake? You know? Uh, originally, I wanted to do like a peppermint cookie and then I saw peppermint macaroons and I was like, ooh. I want some macaroons. I've never made macaroons before. I've done meringue, but not macaroons, so we'll see how it goes. I'm really hoping it goes good because I haven't baked in a very, very, very long time. Ugh, my arm is getting tired already. Macaroons are supposed to be a little bit hard to do just because like you have to get the textures and consistencies right, but I don't know. I'm excited. It'll be a challenge. Uh. Yeah, I wanted to do peppermint macaroons, but then we didn't have peppermint extract, so can't do that. I found a recipe for lemon. Sorry, I don't know why I blanked out. I found a recipe for lemon macaroons, and we do have lemons, I think. So that's what I'm going to try. I hope they turn out good because I could go for a really good macaroon right now. All right, I'll take you downstairs. Let's go. messed up um the recipe calls for 100 grams of egg whites and oh no my thing just turned off oh no uh-oh um and i put in three eggs which were i did 35 ounces of eggs so <laughs> i've got a lot of grams <laughs> oh wait oh yeah way too many so gotta fix that workout baking is it's so such a workout for your arms between all the like <coughs> sifting and whisking and like even doing this and this is supposed to be a runny consistency it just takes a long time to do this and I do not have the arm strength for this I am still sore from when we played pickleball it was exhausting And the recipe says when you touch the surface, it seems dry, then it's done. But mine seem like doughy when I touch it. So I'm assuming that means it's not done. But it also said to leave it out for 20 to 40 minutes. And it's been out for like 35-ish minutes, 30 minutes. So hopefully it dries out more in the next 10 minutes and then after 40 minutes i guess i'll just stick it in the oven's ready and yeah and then i bake them for 15 to 20 minutes and rotate every five minutes so i can't just throw it in and be done with it i have to throw it in and check on it like every second i'm exaggerating and then i still need to make the lemon curd and 
buttercream because it uses buttercream like lining it and lemon curd in the middle. Also, my macarons look kind of flat and they're not very round. I didn't have an icing bag or like icing pipes or bag. So I had to use the Ziploc bag and I just cut it and that just didn't work out very well. Hopefully they taste great though. It's like four o'clock, 3.45. Kind of over this. I just want to eat them already. I'm way too tired and I need to finish this. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea to keep me going. Let's do this. Turbo mode. Okay, I just pulled these out of the oven and like, they actually look like macaroons. They're like slight, like about to like crush if I put any more pressure. They smell really good. <gasps> I'm, I'm like super excited. Oh, my tea is done. Let's keep it going. This, this was the second wind I needed. So, just gonna finish my tea. So, I haven't really been recording very much because I just want to like focus and get this done. But I'm making the buttercream right now, or lemon curd. Um, I had to zest three whole lemons. So, I hope this doesn't come out too lemony, but we shall see. This is the butter, sugar, and lemon zest. So let's mix it. It's 4.33, 4.33 and my, both of my macaroons are done and cooked. The shapes didn't turn out very great. They're not very circular, but they look like a macaroon. I'm actually really impressed. I hope they taste good. I like want to taste one, but I'm trying not to. Um, also, let's just like look i think this is the worst shaped one what yeah can't see it. it almost looks like a pumpkin so yeah i'm going to flip these over my lemon curd is done um i didn't really record a lot of that just because it was pretty simple actually um i'm gonna flip these and then make the butter then make a buttercream and then I'm just gonna need the lemon curd to cool down and then I can start piping everything onto the macarons so I'm excited finally we're getting close to tasting them hopefully within like an hour like 5 30 I think I've literally spent all day making these freaking macarons so Let's hope it was worth it, because if it wasn't, I'm going to be kind of upset. But it will be a learning experience, and it gave me something to do, so. But yeah, I'm really, I'm just like so surprised on how good that these look. So, I'll check in, check in in a little bit. So, I was feeling a bit lazy to uh, wash the, like just all the parts for the KitchenAid after... I made the lemon curd and I was like, okay, I have one more thing left. I'm tired of washing dishes. Let me just like hand mix it for the buttercream. So I hand made the buttercream and it's just, it's too late to go back now. So it's turning out pretty good though. So I guess okay. it's fine. I've got the buttercream done and now I'm ready to frost. I 
finally done. Oops. Okay, they're very like, I think I put too much filling inside of it. I definitely like, yeah, they're exploding. So next time, less filling, but they look really good. All right, I'm gonna take a bite now. The second batch, I definitely burned. They were very crispy. And you can even tell there's like a color difference. So, whatever. That's kind of annoying. But, this top one looks really good. Mmm. The fillings are really good. 